Hi everybody, Alex Aplow here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you a trading signal that I have been using uh, for most of my trading life. It's the most powerful one that I've used and I've been using this for over 15 years and I was lucky enough to discover it. Also it's a signal that I've noticed is not talked about much. It's a self-developed signal and um, and I'll go into it into a little bit more detail right now. So here is the signal and essentially what the signal is it's a RSI, this is an RSI. The RSI is set to a period of four. You draw a trend line over the turning points of the RSI and when that trend line gets violated or crossed, then that is a signal. If you look at these candles here, you'll see that any of them could have been a trading signal candle. But look at the small candle that this powerful signal came from right there small candle very early in the trend because there's the trend very early in the trend there it came out and that's what i've noticed the rsi is not a lagging indicator it is a leading indicator and it really provides start of trend signals very strongly and that's exactly what happened so the first thing that uh, the first main signal really is that trend line violation there. But there's a whole lot of other things that go before that. So first of all, if you look at the RSI here, it's it did go over oversold, then it went uh, overbought, then it didn't quite, but then it went overbought. So it, it went oversold and overbought. If you look at the rest here, it never went overbought again. So you take signals when the RSI has gone oversold and overbought recently or the other way around obviously if, you know oversold and uh, over, overbought and oversold but that is a key component of this trading strategy is that you it has to have that movement that's happening there so rule number one and I, I just call them rules in brackets because they you do, not all of these need to be met 100 percent you after a while once you've traded this system a while you can sort of cheat in certain areas but as i said there it must have gone overbought and oversold or oversold and overbought recently ideally there should be a divergence in that accompanies the signal so in other words a divergence is if you draw a line over the tops of the candles uh, uh, over there and you then draw on the on the chart and you then draw a line over the tops of the turning points on the rsi uh, these lines will diverge the one will be going up and the other one will be going down and if you if it was a bounce from the bottom the, the, the reverse would happen so that is what we call a divergence the what is happening on the chart diverges from what is happening on the momentum indicator and what the momentum indicator is basically saying i know there's a lot going on over there but the the movement is running out of momentum that's what a divergence is and it's merely a signal that there's going to be a trend change so a divergence is required then Ideally, you want it to be bouncing off support and resistance. Now, I haven't brought that into account on this chart, but essentially, let's see if I can draw that in. Let's say there was resistance over here and and support over there. That's where that's another confirming a confirmation to this trading signal. If it is bouncing off resistance, then that's another confirmation that you can work on it doesn't always have to happen but as i say you need to uh, decide on on balance whether there are enough signals to help you in this particular trade now the other one that's very important is there must be two humps <laughs> uh, that's a, a term that i've made up but essentially there's a hump and there is a hump. There must be at least, sometimes there are three humps, sometimes there's four humps, but there must be at least two big humps. And, and there we have our two big humps. And that means that the price is really moving quite nicely in waves. So, uh, so far the signal is, is meeting all those requirements. Then uh, the trend line should ideally be around about the 50 line. So you see that, that line there is the 50 line. If the 
the crossover happens more or less there. The, strong, the closer it is to the 50 line, the stronger the actual signal. So that's a pretty strong signal there. And uh, and ideally, it should be supported by a moving average crossover. Now, you see there's a, a moving average cross, a moving average. Uh, the moving average is four, uh, offset by four. Uh, you can see that the actual uh, signal candle actually went over the moving average. So that's a, a confirmation, not essential, but it's a confirmation. And uh, the exit is on the moving average crossover. So the RSI, how it works, the RSI momentum indicator doesn't work well in a trending market, but it does work well in pointing you in the right direction in, uh, when you're about to trade. So there it's pointing you in the right direction. Uh, and once you've taken that trade on the close of the candle, you just stay in the trade as long as the price stays below the moving average so you can see that it stayed below the moving you it crossed over but remember we apply the close of candle rule so so it stays 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 there and then it comes here and there's the first time it actually crosses over the moving area and that's a, an exit signal so you use the rsi to point you in the same uh, the correct direction you use the moving average to keep you in the trade you could also uh, exit it earlier if this was a very strong support level then as the price reaches that support you would exit there uh, that's an alternative exit Okay, so the moving average does play a role in this technique. Uh, as I've mentioned, close of candle decision. All the decisions are made on the close of the candle, not while the, the price is moving up and down, up and down. You wait until the close of the candle, like that candle there. You wait for the close. As it moves over into the new candle, that's when you transact. And the same thing on the exit. You wait, 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 wait. As it moves over into the new candle, that is when you transact. And if it's not, hasn't crossed properly, you wait for the next candle and you, and you wait for that close. So that's how the close of the candle rule works. And then the other thing that I see a lot of traders making a mistake with, they say, oh, this is the most fantastic technique. I'm going to trade it on the euro. And the problem is good signals do not happen that often. They could most probably happen twice a month or something like that. So please do not restrict yourself to one currency and one time frame. Trade as many currencies and as many time frames as you can and take the signals that are strong because they do not occur that often. So let's have a look. Here's an example of, of I uh, normally trade about 16 currencies. And here's an example of my trading charts where I tra I'm trading 16 currencies at the same time. And I'm taking only the best RSI signals that I can find. So I hope this is this is a, a brief summary of the system. What you now need to do is ta take these rules and go to back trade them on your chart. So in other words, go back into history and say, oh, yeah, here's a fantastic setup. I'm going to take it. Let's see if it would have worked and so on and so on. So back trade it for a week or two and then go and forward trade it on a demo account. Trade it as, as you saw my setup, set up 20 charts that you can trade at the same time or maybe even 40 or 60 charts because you will have the four hour, the one hour, the daily chart set up. And so you can trade all of them at the same time. 60 charts if you do 20, 20 on one uh, profile then uh, and trade them. Quite honestly, the best times of the day to trade them are possibly at the start of the UK market and the US market. So you don't have to sit up for 24 hours. You can just trade those those hours quite nicely and look for these kind of strong trends. So here's a very simple system that you can use. It has made me quite a bit of money in my in my career and I still use that as my prime method of trading and all of this is done on a manual basis but you'll be glad to hear that we have automated a lot of what i've just shown you we've uh, created a, a trading ea which is called the tradable rsi it generates quite high returns you can see there's sixty-three thousand in 
in um, 12 months on a $10,000 account. Uh, there's the trend, uh, the RSI trend line trade. I've just shown you the trend line. That's generated $10,000 on, on, on a $1,000 account. Uh, I must say that the tradable RSI has a, a, a turbo booster. That's why the results are so much higher. The trend line trader, uh, bec uh, you can actually trade with much smaller accounts. I'm going to show you why I say that. And the divergence trader, Although that income is low, you can trade it with tiny accounts. So let's have a, 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 just a closer look at these three automated versions of RSI trading. So the first one is the full-on RSI trader, and uh, it is available for purchase on expertforex.com. And there we have a playlist of 14 videos, which you can go and have a look at there. It's, it, there's one in particular that it describes the strategies used by the RSI trader. There's another one of uh, four strategies used. So very, uh, there's a lot of information available about RSI trading. I have traded this my whole life so I know this indicator inside out and then let's have a look at the results now here is where the RSI trader is quite good if you look at the relationship between the drawdowns the the worst worst uh, position in in their account and the best position if you look at that that's 5.6 so the profits are five times bigger than the drawdowns and that is a key area for this particular EA uh, in that case it was eight times the the drawdown uh, the profits were eight times higher than the drawdowns and so on so if you look down this list you'd Obviously, always select the ones with the highest return on drawdown percentage because that will give you the lowest risk. And that's what's so fantastic about this particular EA. It has a has fantastic return on drawdown statistics. Then if we move on to the divergence trader, this divergence trader cannot be bought. It is only available as a free download by paid forum members so so to get your hands on this one you need to join the paid forum and you can download download it with a whole lot of other uh, indicators and EAs that we have available and uh, again if we look at the drawdown statistics the return on drawdown here you actually get much better ones and that's why if you look at the size of the drawdowns they're, they're all under a thousand dollars so effectively you could trade this EA with a thousand dollar account and uh, you'd be okay uh, and so we're not actually comparing apples with apples because the other other one used a ten thousand account yeah we're saying because of the drawdowns being so low you can use much smaller accounts and the drawdown statistics are just unbelievable but it's very selective tra trading so the uh, divergences don't happen all the time so it waits around especially if you're trading a four hour for our time frame, uh, you, there's a lot of waiting involved, and that is why I say don't trade one currency and one time frame. Uh, trade as many as you can, um, and the fish the fish will bite when they're ready. And here is, uh, in our paid forum, you can see the uh, you can download the divergence trader there. There's also the daily pivot trading robot. There's the three. 60 degree market view robot there's a currency selector robot and we're going to be adding as you'll see the rsi trend line trader will be added to this list in the next week or two so a uh, year is the trend line trader as i said there it will be added in the next uh, two weeks uh, to the the paid forum and that's the only place you'll be able to get a hold of it and it also has some great videos which explain and especially that one over there the first one this one the best uh, uh, which explains what i've just shown you in a little bit more detail and here are the statistics here now i haven't put that statistic in there but you can see with your eye that the drawdowns are quite low compared to the actual gains that are made there's a very very small one so that again uh, is a correct characteristic of RSI trading that the drawdowns are 
so low compared to the gains. And the reason for that is uh, the RSI technique is what we call a high probability technique. So in other words, there's a high probability of success and a low probability of failure. And you can see that clearly in our drawdown statistics. I mentioned earlier the uh, 360 degree indicator. I use it uh, and uh, you'll see on my charts, I've got the RSI and the mo moving average. And I can tell a lot of, from those particular uh, two indicators. I believe in keeping it as simple as possible. I see people with hundreds of indicators and these are two really simple indicators. You can see for the euro at the moment, it's quite a lot overbought, but at the same time, it's trending. You can see, it is above the moving average on all the time frames. So what it's saying, hey, mate, you've missed the boat. You should have been in on this trade a long time ago. That's that's what it's saying. And it, that's why if you look at this to, to, to try and stay trade, this might be quite tricky. You have to get in. Uh, at the most opportune moment. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you take my offer up about going to watch those playlists that explain this technique in a lot more detail. I think I've explained it quite a lot in this video, so you should have grasped the main components that make this a successful trading technique. Uh, but certainly go and vis visit those playlists to learn more about the divergence, more, more about the trend line violation, and more about RSI trading. If you're not already a member of our premium forum, I suggest that you go and have a look at that. Links to everything that I've mentioned in this video will be on the in the description of the video as well as in the first comment of the video. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio. As always, go and have a look at these videos suggested by YouTube and join the Expert Forex channel.